It's time for Reader's Workshop. You are going to need your poetry packet. It should all be in exactly the same order if you haven't touched it, so if you have, that's okay. You're going to need this one that says gray squirrel. I'll move that so you can see it better. All right, this is an action poem. So in poetry, we've been talking about how poems can be songs, they can be, um, she knows. They can be songs, they can be rhymes, they can be not rhyming, they can be short, they can be long. Poems can be a lot of different things, but in kindergarten, most of our poems tend to be some kind of song or what we would call a finger play where you do hand movements along with it. This one is a song. It is one of my favorite songs. This poem called Gray Squirrel has been around for a long, 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 long time. And when I say long time, I mean longer than your grandma and your grandpa was alive. And Chief would love this if I said longer than Chief was alive. Because <laughs> I remember when we were learning about the Berlin Wall and she stopped in to visit you guys were so impressed with how old Chief was and he's really not that old but um, if he was at school I know he'd find humor in that. So Grace Girl was written a long long time ago and it has movements to go with it and I think you'll like it. I'm gonna try to do it standing up here the best I can. Um, I, you know it's not gonna be perfect on the video but here we go. It goes like this. It goes Gray squirrel, gray squirrel. And you're gonna put your hands on your knees, okay? And then you're gonna shake your bushy tail. <laughs> That's the fun part, right? Okay, so put your um, hands on your knees and go, gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Can you do that? Does that feel a little silly? Nobody's watching, I can't see you. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. And then you can stay standing. I'm just gonna sit down so that you can see me. And then it goes like this. Wrinkle up your funny nose. Okay, so you keep doing it standing, okay? So touch your knees. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose. And then this poem says, hold an acorn in your toes. So bend all the way down and pretend to put an acorn in your toes. <laughs> that would not be comfortable. Let's do it again. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose. Hold an acorn in your toes. And then you go back to your knees and you finish up the song the same way. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Okay, can we do it all together? Here we go. <laughs> I'm running out of breath singing over and over. Here we go. Hands on your knees, booty out. <laughs> Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold an acorn in your toes. Hands on your knees. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. <laughs> now at school, what I love to do with this poem is go around and say each child's name. So we would say something like, Miss Linda, Miss Linda, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold an acorn in your toes. Miss Linda, Miss Linda, shake your bushy tail. And then we would go around and we would sing all the kids' names and you would get a chance to shake your bushy tail. But what you can do at home is if you have a brother or a sister or a mom or a dad, you could sing it to them. You could sing, Mommy, Mommy, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold an acorn in your toes. Mommy, mommy, swish your bushy tail. And when you sing that, you have to let them swish their bushy tail. So on this poem, we see 
that it is definitely a song and it has a repeating pattern. It ends in the top, gray squirrel, gray, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail, and then it ends in gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. And why it does that is because it's something called a round. And a round isn't necessarily meaning that it's um, a circle, but it, it kind of does because it means you can stand in a circle and sing it around the circle over and over and over so that you could name everybody's name. That is able to work because it ends the same way that it starts. So I thought it'd be really super fun if you'd flip over the back of your paper and draw a picture of a gray squirrel with a bushy tail and a picture of you shaking your bushy tail. Please upload your picture when you are finished and I will love to see your cute pictures. Now, one thing I wanna say, boys and girls, I've noticed since we've been home, we're forgetting our most important rule when we're coloring and that is to use right and appropriate colors. I know sometimes we might not have access to colored pencils or crayons, but if we do, then we really need to be making sure that we're writing with the, we're drawing with the right colors. So if I'm asking you to draw a gray squirrel, should I be seeing pink squirrels? Should I be seeing black squirrels? Should I be seeing you with blue hair? Absolutely not. Unless for some reason your hair did turn blue. And in that case, I want to see a picture of it. So please make sure you're using right and appropriate colors. Even though we're not in the classroom, that is still an expectation, and it's an expectation because it's something that you'll need to do through all of your grades going up. Have a great day. Sing the song over and over. It's going to be stuck in your head. Bye-bye, Grace Girl.